Welcome to another Nonsense Wars production, once again on the Vertical Stepper. Uh, now on revision 2.1. I raised the minor version instead of the major version because I'm doing a bug fix rather than a full redesign uh, a la going from version 1 to 2. Nonetheless, this fairly crippling bug convinced me not to display the stepper at Brickworld Virtual way back in June, and it annoyed me enough such that I did not look at the module again until recently. Version 2 had a crank radius of one stud and a corresponding step pitch of two bricks and a plate. These allowed for a compact and elegant design that I really liked at the time. Unfortunately, the tight step pitch also made the height difference between the loading and unloading steps small enough such that they relied more on the momentum of the mechanism to move balls. If the module ran too slowly, balls would not pass properly and potentially jam destructively. Worst of all, I could not correct the problem simply by not running it slowly. I originally discovered the defect when I stopped the module in the quote-unquote wrong spot, effectively putting balls between steps such that they jammed the mechanism when it tried to restart. The solution seemed simple enough, increase the height difference between steps such that balls could not stop between them. Herein lies the problem. In order to increase the height delta while maintaining the same step pitch, I need to make the openings smaller. That makes the already tight clearances even tighter, and the module will jam at one ball per second. On the flip side, in order to increase the delta while maintaining opening size, I need to increase the step pitch and the crank radius, which subsequently increases relative horizontal velocity and basically turns the module back into version 1. That's where I gave up originally, but eventually I found a compromise. I could increase the crank radius of the circling step to 1.5 studs while leaving the crank radius of the linear step at one stud. This gives the steps some more height differential while limiting tangential speeds, but it also weakens the main crank and the weight of the steps no longer balance each other out, uh, potentially limiting the extensibility of the mechanism. Still, the fixed module could make nearly one ball per second on the regulator, and I was confident enough to run it at Brickworld Virtual in October, but it still blew itself up at the end of my run. Luckily, I captured it on video, and the footage suggested that the balls could still jam between steps when running at full speed, most likely due to the increased horizontal speeds. Increasing clearance by turning the circling step panels around seems to have solved that problem, but we shall see. Of course, while messing around with the drivetrain, I tried to add the vertical stepper to my shared power collection. It's a good candidate for shared power because the main crankshaft runs straight down the middle, but it's also not a good candidate because it needs to run a little slower than my previously specified 1 to 5. Still, I realized that the space I left for my loose couplings could just as easily be used for an extra gear stage as long as I kept ending modules with the same 10 length Technic beam. Thus, even modules with different crank speeds can now run together. Uh, in this configuration, the 10x10 
and the fan both run at 1 to 5, while the vertical stepper runs at 3 to 25. I could add modules with either crank speed to either side by replacing the loose couplers with gears or vice versa. This was how I ran the vertical stepper for Brickworld Virtual, and at least the shared power aspect appeared to work well. Uh, more on shared power to come in the future, but on that note, this is the end of the video, so have a nice day.